So the first thing you want to do to make a heart taste good is what you do during the field dressing process. The heart is just like any other cut of meat. You want to get the temperature down quickly. So typically during a hunt, I will carry a Ziploc plastic bag and get the heart out as soon as possible, put it in that bag, leave the top open for it to cool down. Then when you get home, you can rinse out the inside and the outside, have it fresh or freeze it for later. Why is it every single time I hold one of these things in my hand, I flash back to that scene in Indiana Jones. In general, I always think it's a good idea to know the anatomy of any animal that you're gonna cut up, and for the purposes of this video to make it easier for you to follow along, we're gonna identify some of those structures. So some of you may or may not know the heart consists of four chambers. You can see this seam right here separating the two ventricles. The larger one is the left ventricle, and the smaller one is the right ventricle. In between is the septum, and we're gonna essentially gonna stake out both the ventricles and the septum at the top. You'll see these flap-like structures. These are the atrium. And then you'll have a lot of stuff on the top here that just doesn't look very tasty. The pulmonary trunk, the pulmonary veins, and the top of the aorta. Now you can almost see this seam between the atria and the structures at the top that we're gonna wanna get rid of. Now you could take a knife and just kinda estimate it and lop the whole thing off. We're gonna try to be a little bit more precise about that because this isn't the largest piece of meat in the world. So I'm gonna work around this seam, and then we're gonna clean off some of this fat. So I'm just gonna take my knife, pull this back. Slippery little devil. See him starting to expose a little bit of that meat. There. So now we've taken off some of that trunk tissue and the atrium. There's still a little bit of garbage in there we're gonna clean off in a little bit. But first, let's get to cleaning off some of this fat. Now you can clean this off at the end, but typically I find it easier to clean it off while the heart is still intact. So all I'm gonna do is just take my knife and I'm gonna shave that fat off of the heart, exposing the meat. Now for the purposes of this video, this takes a couple of minutes. Doesn't take too long though. We're gonna speed this process up and we'll come back to you when we've got all this fat off of the heart. So because I'm gonna be making fajitas with this, I'm actually going to stake this out. So as I said before, you've got the two ventricles here and here, the left and the right, and then the septum in the middle is what we're gonna use for our three different cuts of steak. Now this natural seam here that separates the two ventricles is what we're gonna use to first stake off the ventricle. So you'll see this little hook at the top of the ventricle. We're gonna to wanna to cut that. And we'll clean that off here in a little bit. And then we're just gonna follow the rest of it there. And then we're just gonna follow this seam all the way down here and cut that right off, that septum. And let's see if I can do this and make sure I show you guys. And there'll be some structures in there that you'll see that we're gonna clean out in a little bit, but you can see how that's just separating right through there. Another little seam on the back side. You kind of see how that's just folding open, okay? Keeping it tight to that septum. Now it just folds right off. So now what you're gonna have left is kind of this tubed shaped piece of heart. We still got our seam there, so now we're gonna separate the septum from the left ventricle. And we're just gonna work right down this seam and it should start to open up for us.
Now you can see how this is starting to open up. We've got more of these tendinous structures that again, we're gonna clean out here in a little bit. And we're just gonna work this all the way down and open it up flat. Now this heart in particular, it's pretty uniform in terms of the wall of the septum and the left ventricle. And you see if I'm gonna pan sear this or put it in a grill, how it's kind of curled up like this. So we're gonna take the septum here and separate it from that left ventricle. Just like that. All right, so you can see you still got some stuff going on on the inside here that we wanna take out. You got some of these structures here, I think they're called chordae tendinae. You've got, I believe what's called a papillary muscle of the wall, the right atrium, correct me, sorry, ventricle. So correct me if I'm wrong. So we're just gonna take a little bit more time to clean up the inside of the heart before we get three pieces of perfect heart steak. So as you can see, we've got three different stakes. We've got the septum that separated the thinner right ventricle and then the thicker left ventricle. So I promise if you do this a few times, it will become very simple after that. Essentially, you're just taking off all the things that do not look enticing to eat and getting it down to basic red meat of the heart. The heart is actually the most tender cut on the animal, I think. And I love staking it out like this because it gives you an opportunity to think outside the box for some recipes. With these, I'm gonna be making fajitas. So if you have any interest in knowing how I did that, go ahead and check it out on the channel now. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe, comment, and we will see you next time.